Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this lesson, we're gonna be learning how to play the song I Can Only Imagine by Mercy Me. That's coming up next. Before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. I put out a new drum lesson like this every single week, so you don't wanna miss that. Second, make sure that you download the PDF transcription for this song. You can do that by clicking the link in the description of the video. And lastly, make sure that you have your drumsticks with you so that you can actually play along with me as we work our way through the song. Okay, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're gonna practice is the main groove. This is consistent all the way throughout the song. The only thing that's gonna change is for the majority of the song, you're playing your right hand on the hi-hat, and then later on the second page, we're gonna switch to the ride cymbal. But the actual notes stay the same. So your right hand is just playing eighth notes, one and two and three and four, and our left hand is playing the back beat on the snare drum on two and four, so it's one and two and three and four and and our kick drum is gonna play this really cool pattern. It's very common, so this is a good pattern to practice. It's one, a two, and three, and four. Two, boom, 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 One, a two, and three, and four. One, a two, and three, and four. When you put it with the hi-hat and the snare part, it sounds like doom, doom, ba, doom, doom, ba, doom, doom, ba, doom, doom, ba. You just need to pay attention and notice that the second kick drum is actually gonna slide in between the two hi-hat notes. Make sure that that kick drum is not late. That's a very common mistake when you're playing a syncopated groove like this. If you play that kick drum too slow or even just a tiny bit slow, it kind of drags the beat backwards instead of keeping the time consistent and moving forward. So try to anticipate that offbeat kick drum and just punch it right in between those two hi-hats. Okay, the final detail of this drum groove is to play an open hi-hat on the final eighth note. So, and then you're gonna close it at the start of the beat again, every measure. All right, grab your drumsticks. We're gonna play this main groove just over and over. We're gonna do it eight times at 70 beats per minute. So here we go. Okay, excellent job practicing that drum groove. Now we're gonna take a look at measure 16 and 15. So we're gonna play measure 15 is just the regular beat and then we're gonna play measure 16 which has the drum fill, okay? And we're gonna practice those two measures back to back. So let me explain how to play uh, the rhythms on measure 16. So the first half of measure 16 is just the drum beat that we already played. Doom, doom, ba, doom. But then you're gonna see this three note rhythm played twice. Da, 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 da. Okay, so the first time it's hi-hat, snare, open hi-hat and kick drum. It's da, psh, three E and. And then the second time it's gonna be snare, snare, rack tom, four E and. So it's da, psh, da, da, doom. 3 E and 4 E and and it should be played right left right right left right. So just that measure 16 sounds like this. Doom doom ba doom ga psh ba ba boom. All right, so grab your drumsticks. We're going to play measures 15, so just the drum beat once and then measure 16. We're just going to do that little loop, that two measure phrase. We're going to play that four times together nice and slow. So grab your sticks and play along with me.
Okay, next we're skipping down to the bottom of page one. This is measure 24. All right, this is a big drum fill um, right before the song kind of goes up a little bit. Um, in dynamics, he kind of jumps up higher with his vocals after this. So this is a, a big drum fill kind of setting up that next portion of the song. Okay, so counting out this rhythm, uh, this measure 24 is gonna be like this. One and a two and three and four e and a. And we're playing crash and kick drum as the first hit, then an open hi-hat and an offbeat kick drum. Boom, stuga. Then we're gonna have the snare drum by itself, and then we're gonna do a kick drum and crash on the upbeat of count two. So it's once a two and psh, it's stuga, psh. One, a two and. Then on beat three, we're playing two eighth notes. We're playing a flam on the snare and then a flam on the rack tom. Bra, broom. And then we're gonna finish out with um, 16th notes on B4, 4E, and uh, and I'm playing that sticking as a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, because I don't have a uh, right side crash cymbal. I'm playing uh, those last two 16ths with my right hand so that I can hit my crash with my left hand. But if you happen to have a right side crash cymbal, um, you could just keep those four 16ths as alternating strokes. Right, left, right, left, boom. So the full measure sounds like this. Boom, stum, ga, psh, bra. All right, so grab your drumsticks. We're going to play measures 23 and 24, the same thing, just those two measures over and over again. We're going to play that four times. So here we go. Play this along with me. Okay, now we're gonna move on to page two. So take a look at measures 27 and 28. So 27 is still just our normal drum groove on the hi-hat. Measure 28, the last two beats is where we have our drum fill. So it's gonna be three E and a four E and, and it's snare, snare, open hi-hat. Then we're gonna play a kick drum for that final 16th syllable of beat three. Da, da, doom. Three E and a, right, left, right, kick. And then we're gonna play the three note rhythm again, four E and snare, snare, rack tom. So it's ba, ba, tss, do, ba, ba, doom. So just that measure 28 would sound like this. Doom, tss, doom, ga, psh, ba, ba, tss, do, ba, ba, boom. All right, grab your sticks. We're gonna play measures 27 and 28 over and over again, that same two measure uh, phrase over and over. So here we go, 70 beats per minute. All right, you guys are doing a great job. Hang with me, we have just a few more drum fills to work through. So the next one we're gonna look at is measure 32. So let me explain how to count this rhythm because it can be a little intimidating um, if you're not used to seeing these rhythms. So we're gonna count it like this. One and a, two, e and, three, e, a, four, and one, and a, two, e, and, three, e, and, a, four, and. So we have a, eighth note, 16th note, eighth note, 16th note, eighth note, 16th note, eighth note, and then two eighth notes. One and a, two, E and, three E, a four and, and we're gonna be playing crash, snare, crash, snare, crash, snare, crash, snare, crash, crash. And with every crash, we're gonna hit a kick drum. Like I always tell my students, never ever hit a crash cymbal without a kick drum. That is a great rule you can um, rely on like 99% of the time it's accurate okay so just counting out that rhythm that measure is going to go like this got 
All right, so grab your sticks. We're going to play measures 31 and 32 over and over again, just practicing those two measures. So here we go. Okay, next we're gonna take a look at the drum fill on measure 40. So this is another full measure drum fill. So it's got the same beginning part as the measure we just practiced with the one and the E and crash, snare crash, snare crash. And then we have a different ending. It's three E and the right, left, right kick, snare, snare, open hi-hat, kick. Dot, dot, doom. And then we finish with just four notes going around the snare and the toms. Snare, rack tom, floor tom, floor tom. Da, doom, 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 psh. That is a really great um, ending to a drum fill right there. Da, doom, 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 psh. Super, super musical. It works great in pretty much every song. So the full measure sounds like this. Psh, ga, psh, ga, psh. Da, da, do, ba, do, 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 psh. Okay, I'm gonna be playing those four notes as a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, so that I can hit my crash with my left hand since I don't have a right side crash symbol, but you could play those four notes just with alternating sticking, right, left, right, left, boom, and then hit the crash if you wanted to. Um, and then the other thing to know is that the drum groove um, for this part of the song is on the ride symbol now instead of the hi-hat. So get your sticks. We're gonna play measures 39 and 40 together, nice and slow at 70 beats per minute. Okay, excellent job guys. We're now to the bottom line of the song. We're gonna practice this entire four measure phrase. So this is really cool. It kind of shows you an example of how to like play a drum groove, but to bring the dynamic down to just a nice soft ending there on the final measure. So this is not necessarily a drum fill. It's more like it takes the drum groove and it kind of like breaks it down slowly as you go through the measure. So the first measure, 41, is just normal. And then the second measure, number 42, is So it's got a little bit of a different syncopation there. It's 3 E and 4 E and, and on beat four there, you're gonna hit the rack tom and then the snare and then back to the ride. So it's Ding, ding, ga, ding, ga, ding, boom, ga, boom. So that's kind of a cool orchestration we haven't had yet in the song. And then the next to last measure, number 43, is dun, boom. So it's still keeping that same rhythm, but instead of playing the uh, offbeat syllable with the kick drum on beat one, the one and uh, it's going to be played with the left hand now on the rack tom. So it's dun, dun, kick. Kick tom, and then we have one offbeat kick um, on beat three, three, a uh, four, and we're finishing with beat four on the floor tom. That is a really great technique to just kind of like bring a measure down. Is to finish the final hit count four on the floor tom. Ba ba da, da boom crash and then you're going to go kind of softer on those crashes kind of like a medium volume so this whole measure where it's kind of like a gradual day crescendo so um grab your drumsticks we're going to play this entire four measure phrase two times nice and slow so here we go
Now that you've practiced each little part of the song individually, we're gonna play through the entire song from start to finish. So grab your drumsticks and give this a try. I can only imagine I can only imagine When that day comes And I find myself Standing in the sun All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Just a reminder to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to support my channel and support me and my family, you can go to my website, jaredshantos.com. You can sign up for drum lessons there. Um, your first lesson is free. I do FaceTime lessons and in-person lessons here in my studio, or you can uh, purchase a JC logo t-shirt. So thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.